Hey, this is Anthony from Havoc Games. Real quick video about what comes in the full set of Havoc the Combat card game. I've gotten a number of questions from supporters about some of the tuck boxes in there, so I'm just going to uh, key in on this. The back of the box has a what comes in the box graphic. Um, tells you everything that you get in the full set. The three different rule books, 864 cards and kind of how that breakdown is. The body and fatigue tokens, 15 tuck boxes, two full-color cardboard play mats, and four 10-sided dice. So you got two different dice to, two different pairs of dice to choose from. Among the 15, you have two that are empty. And some people said, hey, is something supposed to be in here? No, nothing is supposed to be in here. These are empty for a reason. These are so that, um, these are 54-card tuck boxes that can keep you organized for your cards for whatever fighter you happen to be going somewhere or if you want to use some uh, regularly. So 54 cards is enough for the class card, the combatant card, and so forth. It's particularly good for RPG campaigns. So we're doing a campaign right now. This is my guy who is, uh, he's an illusionist. And here's what I do. So I show, thought I'd show you what comes in, how I'm organizing my deck is in my card box, tuck box. So I keep uh, his class card in there, his abilities, he has sword and dagger and faint, his prowess level. We've been playing for a while. He's an, a citizen, so he crawls up the prowess uh, ladder slowly. He's on the verge of making prowess four. Got brigandine armor. Um, he does have a short bow and a dagger, so the dagger is for use with sword and dagger, which is that ability. And what that ability allows you to do is if you have a dagger, you can pause, and if your opponent attacks, then you get a free dagger parry uh, that you can use once per round. It's a blade parry. Um, he had a light sword at one point, but the deck is set up for a sword. And so then I have his deck of combat action cards, right, all set up here. So there's 25 cards in the deck. Um, so these are all his, you know, pauses. And he's a citizen, so he can only, well, he could blade parry too. Um, but his, he gets four free dodges. So he's got dodges in there. Uh, slashes. Slashes are easier to hit. Um, they get a plus one to hit uh, because of the type of, attack that is than like a thrust and the sword you know where's that sword card here's the dagger here's the sword the sword would let him use slashes thrust or blade parries and then you can always use a dodge with any weapon you can use a dodge so that's his deck and then um i'm also keeping track of his components these are first version component cards these are magical components of what he's got. Um, the revisions are actually in layout right now, but, uh, you know, he's got a book to learn spells. He's got a man skull, um, book, another book. He's got a book to give to a, another player character. You know, he's got stuff. So anyway, I keep that all there. So it's all, I also write it down, scribble it on my character sheet and kind of keep track of what's kind of going on. And, different spells he's got and so forth. We don't have the spell cards for Illusionist up, which is why I don't have his spell cards in there. So anyway, so just wanted to answer some of the questions people are getting. Yes, you're supposed to have two empty tuck boxes among the 15. These two you can use for whatever you want, um, but I, I use them, I think we're intended to use them to organize the cards for whatever character, whatever fighter you're using, just so you got them handy. That's about it. Thanks again. Bye.